Hello game design students. Um, this is video number four in the turret behavior tutorial series thing we're doing here for class. Um, and in the previous videos we created these turrets that will track our player character here and they will fire a uh, projectile at him. So as we go and see we can drive through here it'll start to fire and you can fly your guy through here and these bullets will move around you. And if you get hit by one right now it's just sort of bumping you out of the way which maybe is cool maybe you like that. Um, but maybe you're like, I want it to have a little bit more of a consequence. I'd like it to interact a little bit more. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you a way of doing that today. Okay. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure our hitboxes are correct. So I believe we did that. Yep, we did that hitbox or that collision polygon there. And then as well as on our player sprite. Okay. If you're not sure how to do that, go back and check the other videos. That's really important that that gets done because it just really dictates the way that all of our objects interact together. We need to make sure they're doing that correctly. Um, the next thing we need to go is we actually, I'm zoom back in here. We need to go back into our sprite editor for this and we're going to create a new animation. So first we're going to rename this animation to moving and then we're going to make a new animation called, uh, whoops, I'm all over the place, rename it explosion. Now what we're going to do now is draw sort of an explosion. So I'm going to make it, well that's not what I want. I'm use my brush here like a red and grab some yellow. Wow, look at this explosion. This is really good. All my artist skills are being used today. This is great. And then grab some orange. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this frame and I'm going to make it a little bigger. Okay, on the next frame. All right. And I use this eyedropper here to just copy the colors I was already using so I'm not mixing up colors. You can mix up colors though. This part doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of doing this to make an explosion. And you see this one's a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to make an even bigger one. So we get the red and get the yellow and get the orange. And I'm erasing for some reason, which is not what I wanted. So I'm going to control Z all that. There we go, it was on the orange, there we go. I must have selected just the transparency behind. Now what I wanna do is click on my explosion thing here and I want this to ping pong, so it just means it goes back and forth and I want the speed to be 10. So if you're gonna do your explosion like me, do it like this, then you can watch as I preview this, it gets big and goes back down. So it's gonna look like it's exploding and fading away. Um, and it's really high quality explosion, obviously. Um, so I have my two animations here set. By default, our player character is going to be using this moving animation, which is basically just its normal form. And then when it gets hit by a bullet, we're going to trigger the explosion animation. And when the explosion animation is done, it's going to destroy our player character. That's all we're doing. So let's go to our event sheet. We're going to add a new event. And we're going to say when player sprite on collision with another object, which in this case the object is going to be the torpedo, we are going to take our player sprite, we are going to set the animation to explosion. Okay, and it has to be inside these quotation marks so it knows that's the name of an animation. Done. Now, we're going to add another event. Player sprite, on finished. So animation on finished, once again, in quotation marks, explosion. When the explosion animation finished, take our player sprite and destroy it. Okay. So let's go take a look and see if it's working. So I can fly around here and all my turrets are going to be shooting at me. And you can make it really challenging by putting a lot of turrets out there, but I'm pretty good at dodging. Oh no, I got hit by one and I explode and I'm gone. Game over. I'm dead. Mm, bummer. Okay. But you can see there now my projectiles are interacting with my player character by exploding me and destroying me. Okay, there we are. Now, if you want your player character to move faster, come edit its behavior here. If you'd like the bullets to move faster, edit your torpedo bullet speed to be higher. If you'd like to shoot faster, you need to change the rate of fire on the turret. A higher number will make it shoot slower. A lower number will make it shoot faster. So if I change it to 0.5 instead of 1, I can come in here and it's going to shoot way faster. I kind of double the speed. So maybe you can't tell, but maybe you want to change it to even lower. Oh, okay, I got hit and destroyed. Dang it, I'm dead. Um, 
I'm probably just going to leave it at one because I think it gets too difficult. But there we go. Um, and that is how you make things interact. So that's the end of this video. Nice and quick. Just make sure you have these events here and you can pause this and copy those down if you need them. In the next video, we're going to create items to be picked up, probably like a little gold coin. It's just going to end up being a square. Um, but uh, you have to pick a number of those up and we're going to create a variable to count how many you've picked up. And then once you've picked them all up, we're going to set off a little uh, screen um, that says you win and then your game will be over. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.